bring you back to Nairobi, but on an issue that's uh, af affecting probably the entire continent. Outgoing Namibian president Hifike Punye Pohama has won the 2014 Ibrahim Prize for Achievement in African Leadership. Pohama has been recognized for his focus in forging national cohesion and reconciliation at a key stage of Namibia's consolidation of democracy and social and economic development. The prize committee of the Ibrahim Foundation assesses democratically elected former executive heads of state from African countries who have served their term in office within the limits set by their country's constitution and have left office within the last three years. Nine-year-old Pohamba was named the recipient of the world's most valuable individual award for African leadership. The award, known to be the most valuable individual prize globally, comes with a $5 million cash prize paid over a period of 10 years. The winner is thereafter given $200,000 every year for life. Pohamba, a former rebel who fought for his country's independence, has served for two terms as Namibian president. He was first elected in 2004 and again in 2009 and is due to be succeeded by president-elect H. Gainbob. Pohamba has been recognized for his focus in forging national cohesion and reconciliation at a key stage of Namibia's consolidation of democracy and social and economic development. His deep commitment to the rule of law and respect for the constitution, in particular on the issue of term limit, also impressed the prize committee. Basic indicators, is there equal economic opportunity, is, this, is there safety and rule of law, is this respect for human rights, is, this, is there human development, education, health care. Namibia is a very young country. It's amongst the youngest on the continent. And all these achievements we are talking about were made in a relatively short period of time. The committee, which consists of seven members, also recognized Pohamba as a leader who laid emphasis on issues of gender equality, which led to notable achievement of having a 48% representation of women in parliament. So many stories about those kind of people, how they gave and left in dignity with clean hands, having done the service. We have heroes, Chris. So that what give us hope that we will move forward. Don't just focus on the bad example, which are you know filling the bed. And uh, the criteria is not very difficult. The criteria primarily is somebody who's a leader, who has integrity, who has done enough, you know, to lift his country out of repression or oppression or or what have you. The prize committee may choose not to award the prize, as was the case in 2009, 2012, and 2013. Mo Ibrahim is a British Sudanese mobile communications entrepreneur and philanthropist who made billions from investing in Africa. He launched the prize to encourage African leaders to leave power peacefully.